All right, hi everyone. Uh, I'm gonna go through and uh, do a detailed step-by-step -step how to on uh, setting up and configuring IPIMP, which basically stands for iPhone Interface for Media Portal. So here we are at the uh, Media Portal homepage. If you go into Skins and Plugins. Um, just type in here I pimp. That's the one. And comes up, we click on it. So <clears throat> the first thing to do is go to the home page to download. Don't don't use that download for now, especially if you're using the latest version of Medium Portal, which is currently 1.2.1. Um, this download will actually download the 5.1.0 which doesn't work for um, 1.2.1 so the one we're looking for is this one here iPod. it's called the this is the current one <coughs> just save that somewhere which I've already done so that's um, okay I'll leave that so save that then come back and go to the wiki page Okay, on here, what we want to do is basically I just followed this from start to finish, essentially. Um, if you go through next, 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 <coughs> this is an older um, version of uh, IPIP that it's talking about installing, which is 4, but basically it's very similar. Um, so, let's go through it. We've got, here it is. Uh, it's basically pretty straightforward. Um, there are some errors at the end of it, but if you just ignore it, everything um, worked out pretty well on my configuration. So obviously I'm just running Windows XP, Service Pack 3. Um, for ease of use, I'd just do... Uh, it says you haven't read it, which we've got to open, continue, agree. This is the server so um, and uh, I'm going to do a single C installation so that installs everything just um, works out well leave everything to default works well uh, <coughs> just check the the logos here um, that's pointed in the right spot so I go next here um, in this scenario it says, yeah, if you want to delete, yes, if you want to trend, I go no, purely because if you make a recording, um, this I've got an old computer, it's a P4 with um, one gig of RAM, so <coughs> if it starts transcoding immediately, it'll interfere with, um, <coughs> excuse me, it will interfere with uh, other shows that you want to watch or anything like because it uses up um, CPU code, so here you can set it to automatically do it at 1 a.m. the morning when it's probably being not being used um, or if you want to do it manually put on never in this scenario I'm just going to put a never uh, I'm going to leave that as default and I'm going to browse and tell it I want to put it in with my videos whatever it's de transcoded okay go next <coughs> just go yes um, leave that as default I've so just go yes. Sorry, I had it installed. <laughs> so um I've got a client and server installation um <coughs> set up, so I'll go through and uh install a client setup a bit later separately to the server as well. But then I can just show how um the streaming works on the iPhone 4 that I've got. This version, um, you do need uh, the iOS uh, 4 for it to work. Um, there are people with the uh, version 3 that are having issues. Some are working, some are not, but um, iOS 4 seems to be the most consistent. Okay, so it's pretty much done. So what we'll do, TV server configuration. The 
that's okay. So <clears throat> in the plugins you'll see this is the transcoder. So you can go through and check. Um, these are the settings that we went through and did before. So everything, um, you can tell it which channel you don't want it to transcode but otherwise everything is okay other than you can put on normal, I just leave it on below normal um, and that's it then we can go into the configuration here and under the plugins scroll down to your plugins and the one we're looking for is this one media MP client controller hit config um, leave this as default that's default close it okay um, and that that's pretty much it for the setting it up on the the server so I'll come right back with um, the iPhone and uh, log in and show you how it works all right, so um, I've got um, Safari open on the iPhone, and uh, what we do is we go and punch in the um, address of the server. So that's uh, the address at the top that I've punched in of the server. Click go. What that'll do is it'll take you to the uh, login page, and um, the application has two default password username and passwords. One is admin, the other one is demo. I'm going to log in as admin. Username admin, password is admin. Right, go done, go log in. So once we've logged in, <coughs> we can see um, that's the TV app side of it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to log into my one of my clients to show the remote control. So I went to my control. So what you'll see here is just pretty standard remote control buttons, but you can see um, that we can control media portal, like the remote control, just through Wi-Fi. So um, there you have it. That's pretty cool. I'll just play one real very quickly. You can see that it actually does work. So I can stop. Okay, so go back, go back. Uh, just to whoops, wrong one. I'll go into weather, current weather here. So that's all good. Cool. So um, that's all I wanted to show from the remote. Um, obviously, you have the volume buttons up and down there, and you can play around with the other ones, but um, that's to show the remote. The other thing I want to show is um, TV streaming. So <clears throat> here I've got, uh, I'm just going to go all channels. Here you can see um, all the current channels that I have. Seven one's always good. Stream that. Again, we wait. Okay, we just click play and uh, to get full screen again and um, rotate it. So um, it'll play for screen. It's just um, having a couple of little issues. But there you go. It's pretty cool. So that was it. Just uh, to show streaming that it does work. Um, again, make sure you stop. <coughs> Go back. Back. So that's TV streaming. The other thing um, we can do from here is um, go into the server here, and um, we can play 
you can look at our movies, the two movies I have. Um, you can't stream it to your phone at this point in time, these shows. Uh, sorry, the movies. But you can stream the TV series. It's just the way the app's set up. So, I'll just do a show of that. So yeah, that just gives you a... And then down the bottom here, you see you can either play it on the the server or we can stream it. In this case, I will stream exactly the same process. Click play. Open it up. I'll uh, maximize it and... Whoops. That's it. So, um, that that's pretty cool. Just wanted to demo that. So, just to show that it does work. Close that up. Again, I'm just going to stop it to make sure. And, um, that's pretty much it. I mean, you can have multiple clients. As you can see here, the the bottom one here is actually a server, um, an all-in-one server plus client. The top one is just the laptop, which is only has the client installed, so you can log in and use it as a remote control for the client, multiple clients. Change the passwords. Um, but that's pretty much it. I'm just going to log out. Thanks for watching, and I hope that helps.